and it is Monday night. It's November 18th. We're glad you're here, Dee and Larry Corgin, and come together, our team, just on a Monday night. We want to come together primarily just as community. We've got a lot of us that are all over the country. We've even got a few coaches in Singapore now. So we want um, just everybody to realize what you're a part of and, um, and use this opportunity since there's so much other training available through Opportunity just to connect as a group. So we welcome every single one of you guys, whether you've been coaching for a day. I know we have new coaches join our team today um, or for a long time. Um, we welcome you. And we like to spend a little bit of time at the beginning of each meeting, um, a new feature that we added which is called up close and personal where you can get to know your team members a little bit and um, <clears throat> and hear where they're from and, and what their journey has been and uh, we're gonna start with Lonnie um, Lonnie Postel from New York she's from my old stomping grounds and uh, Lonnie do you want to unmute yourself okay I'm there <laughs> all right there she is uh, Lonnie was like I don't know what I'll say but she was brave to come to come on here and, and share so Lonnie, you've had an incredible health journey. Can you share with us a little bit about what that's looked like and your decision to become a coach? Yeah, um, yeah, this whole thing has been amazing. Um, I started back in uh, February 2018 and uh, reached out to my coach and decided I, I really wanted to get healthy and start my health journey. And um, and I, when I first started, I was afraid to even tell my husband that I was doing this. He, he made, he's made the comments before, if I had all the money you've spent on weight loss, we'd be rich. You know, we've all done that, right? And so when I talked to Beth, I said, I'll give it 30 days and see how I do. And uh, 30 days, I did really well and, and um, have been, you know, doing the program ever since. Um, and even since then, my husband has joined me, and between the two of us, we've lost over 100 pounds. And so, yeah, so we're, we're excited, um, you know, to have my husband on board with me on doing this and excited and telling people about what it's done in our life has been incredible. Um, just having that support and doing it together has just been really cool. Um, we were able to attend the convention in July, and that was really awesome for us and learning so much there. And, um, and then I, I just went to the, uh, to the uh, Transformational Summit, Business Summit, and that was a big step for me to go by myself. And, um, and you know, I, I'm just a little more backward than most, most people. I don't <laughs> do well with a lot of big crowds. And so it was really um, out of my comfort zone, but I really enjoyed it and enjoyed getting to know a lot of you coaches and um, you were all just amazing. I kind of went through a little personal um, a growth, even at that convention that weekend, um, had some little personal things I had to work out. And yet I had some team members that really stood beside me and helped me get through it. And it was just really cool. Um, so then when I decided to become a coach last December, I decided, well, if I could just do this just to pay for my fuelings and maybe help my own family get healthy, um, that would be awesome. Um, so I, you know, I got on board. I, I signed up my first six clients on my first in my first, what, 20 days. And uh, so that was really awesome. And then, you know, in about four months, I became ED and that. I didn't think that was even possible. Um, so I was really shocked how, you know, easy, I found it easy to share share my story and to help other people and to get, get started on their journey. And I've just enjoyed um, doing that. In fact, even on the plane ride back from, um, from uh, Phoenix, I uh, talked to a gentleman on the plane and he asked where I'd been and to explain what I'd been doing that weekend and he, gave me his business card and wanted to connect. And I just did his health assessment tonight and he's gonna start December 1st. So, um, you know, it's just being out there and, uh, you know, being able to help other people share our story. Um, I'm involved with a walking group here in New York. Uh, we live in upstate New York, so it's very cold. Um, it was, I think, uh, maybe 28 degrees this morning, and yet we're out at the park walking um, at 7.30 every morning. And one of the ladies 
that we're walking with goes through winter depression every every winter and she was a little depressed and a little bit down this morning and by the time we were done she was thanking me for walking and getting out there and moving and um you know so you never know who you're you can impact and who you can help and um, so I've just really enjoyed, uh, you know, being being a part of Optivia and how much it's helped me to uh, to grow myself. So thanks, Steve, for letting me share. Oh, you're welcome. I mean, that you guys, isn't that inspiring? Somebody who's saying she's kind of quiet, introverted, and uh, has just, um, you know, found it hard not to share this program. And you've grown quickly. It's so impressive what you're doing, and I love. That you're even doing some community things by having this walking group you know creating health in the community that you live in even when it's 28 degrees yeah that's pretty amazing because we went to school in upstate new york too i don't know if i would be out in 28 degrees so <laughs> way to go Bonnie. Good, good for you that is awesome thank you for sharing okay thanks all right and so lonnie's in new york we are going to go over to north carolina and um stephanie nealon can you unmute yourself and share a little bit um, hey everybody, I'm Stephanie. Um, just to tell you a little bit about my journey. Um, I come from an obese family and so ever since I was a kid, everything was just always about weight. I mean, that's, and it still is like that in my family. Um, my brother had bariatric surgery. He's gained his weight back. Um, I'm still waiting for him to tell me he's ready. Um, but uh, I, I had always been interested in good health. I, I just wanted to not have the problems that I've seen um, my parents go through and my brother. And um, so I've always been very interested in health. And, um, but after kids and life happening and I had gained some weight, um, I, I'm a teacher and um, I saw a former student post about her cousin and um and i just took action from there and so um i lost 30 pounds fell in love with optavia fell in love with the program the community the community the coach everything about it i just um loved it all and um i love that we have a rock solid product what, what i love the most is that i have complete confidence that it works it just it works and not only does it work it changes people's lives and um, I think that's what I love the most about it is just having that confidence and knowing being excited for everybody because I know things that they don't know that are gonna happen and I told Julie that because I remember meeting Julie on my day three and she told me I can't wait to see your transformation and that's when I realized wow, I had all this hope that this is going to work. But when she said that, I also realized how much doubt I had that it would work for me. Um, because when she said that, I was like, <laughs> you know, and then, and then it worked. And I told her later how I remember that. And she said, see, that's the exciting part is we know. And now I'm there and I'm the one that knows. So when a client comes on board, I know, and that's really exciting. So um, having the community and the rock solid team and knowing that all of you like we're all here for each other i just i love that so so very much so um and i had the pleasure of going to phoenix also and I, you know the list goes on and on with all that i learned and the powerful things um but one thing that really um i remember just that really struck me and i think it was becca tinter that said it but um she said when she was on the stage she said it's not that we're up here and you're not you know we we all need to go out the whole world needs us so we need to go out and and make sure that the world hears about us and and i loved that because that's what it's all about it's us and how dr a said he wants the optavia logo to be more well known than the mcdonald's logo well that's up to us that's up to us to go shout that out. So, so that's what I love. Yeah, um, that, that we're we are tasked with that, and we're all excited to do it. Yeah, it's a big mission, and when you hear it like that, it's like, how could we not share, right? Exactly. exactly. 
And I know, you know, so since Julie went ahead and put it out there and said about your physical transformation, we saw what was going to happen. I know you've got some pretty big goals for your coaching business um, and, you know, going to summit was to help you kind of start mapping that out. So um, as you look forward to your future with coaching, what would you like to do? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 this is passion. And I love how Larry even said that about you, D, when, you know, do you want a job? No, I want a passion, you know, and I definitely feel like this is a passion. And so, um, you know, I got, I, I, I want to, to reach a certain amount of years in the teaching profession, but um, this is definitely passion. And so if in the future it allows me to have fewer years than I have to for full retirement, then that would be amazing because this is fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this That's is fun. Amazing. And, you know, I, I can't think of many things that bring more joy than just getting that pop-up text of another win that somebody's having, it's just, you know, it's the best feeling. Great. And just to give perspective to people, so you're a full-time, uh, you work full-time as a teacher and yes. you have some children too, right? Yes, I have two children that are six and nine, so I am busy. I am busy and I definitely do this in the nooks and crannies. Mm -hmm. So good. <laughs> Well, thanks for thanks for showing us what's possible. Yeah, and thanks for sharing. Thank I mean, you. you know, Becca, Becca Tinter, it's kind of interesting. You know, she's a teacher too. So that was her uh, first love, and she taught for many years. And then uh, she just wanted to be close to her kids. And now she's yeah. got uh, she's got like four or five kids now. I don't know, they've adopted. And so it's an awesome story. Wow. Becca, so. That's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. So awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, very good. Thanks so much for sharing with us. Thank you. All right. And um, <clears throat> so next we're going to talk a little bit about um, growing our business outside of social media. And uh, sure. You want to yeah. And, uh, you know, again, we don't we don't like to talk at you guys. So we, we like to get volunteers to help share as far as what um, what they're doing in their business. And so tonight we have Jen Murray and we have Julie Apple. They've been doing some things outside the normal, um, you know, social media channels because there's a lot of people that, again, social media, they kind of shut down or there's too much out there. So, again, we've got to be available or like Lonnie said, on a plane, striking up a conversation, those types of things. So uh, let's go live to North Carolina. And uh, Julie, can you uh, share what you've been doing lately? Yes. Hey, guys. That was so awesome, Stephanie. I love hearing that. Um, so in Charlotte, I think um, we've probably been doing events, I would say from the first few months I started coaching. So probably about four years ago, we started hosting events. And of course, I was hesitant, not really sure where to do them. And how do you plan all this? <laughs> and how do you even start the process? Um, but thankfully, what's great is we have leaders and mentors that have done it before us. So D and Larry were awesome. And one of the first things we did in Charlotte, if I'm remembering right, you guys might have to remind me, but I taught fitness classes. And so I just asked if we could use the gym space in the lobby, if we could have events there and the owners were awesome. So we just planned an event. D and Larry came up from Atlanta and we hosted in a like circle in the lobby. We had this event and we talked about the program. We talked about coaching and I was just probably a brand new six months in coach. Um, and so D and Larry helped lead that. And then I think we had maybe like 15 or 20 people there at the first meeting. And I was like, okay, well, this is neat. Um, so from there, we just kept planning like maybe twice a year. We had little gatherings like that. Um, and then I started leading workouts cause I, as a personal trainer, I could do that, but you may not do personal training. You may be a teacher, you may have a different gift but how do you channel that into some other, you know, what you're gifted at? How can you host an event? You may be a great cook, so you could host a lean and green party. And we did that in Charlotte last or this past January. Um, Wendy hosted, and that was wonderful because everybody brought a lean and green dish. And we probably had like 30 people there, and everybody loved all the meals. I actually had a lady ask me yesterday or the day before, hey, what, was, what were a couple of those recipes people brought? <laughs> so people remember. Um, and then the most recent that we did, we hosted at one of the restaurants in Charlotte. We had a coach, we have a coach here, 
but helped open a restaurant. And so she let us use the, one of the private rooms. So Dee and Larry came up and we had another event there. Um, so it just, it can start small. So my encouragement to you guys is don't feel like you have to put up some major production. Um, just start small. Maybe it's even in your home or at a coffee shop. Um, just think about what you enjoy so that it doesn't make you overwhelmed. Think about what you would enjoy doing and planning and then just kind of ask your mentors and leaders to help you plan it and it can kind of just blow up from there. Um, and then Stephanie, one of the things Dee had asked me to share kind of what, what it creates for community, for clients, for us as coaches. I know when we were at our last one, Stephanie looked at me and she's like, okay, map out how I'm going to stop, like how I can replace my income. And so Katie and I sat at the table with her and we wrote it all out and worked together. So those are the events where you guys can see how you can pour into team members and then clients, the potential for coaches is awesome because clients are there and they're hearing other coaches share, they're hearing other clients. So it sparks all these exciting like conversations and people like creating these bonds with other clients that doesn't happen on a computer screen or on the phone. Um, it's seeing eyeball to eyeball with people. All of a sudden you realize you're not, you're not alone, you know? So I think what it creates for the community and for coaches and it's, I mean, you can't really, there's no price to it, you know? So hopefully that gives you guys some ideas. Awesome. It was great. Yeah. And we, we love doing those kind of things coming up and just, uh, you know, meeting people in, in your community where you are and just uh, sharing about what the opportunity is and the hope is that we have in our program. And, you know, so it's always fun. And it's always fun to get together and do, uh, I love the road trips. Uh, let's go, let's get out of here. Let's go on a road trip. So it's fun stuff. Um, One more thing. Yeah. So um, thank you, Julie, because we're finding that building community, like the having events, whether it's small and in your home, I think Stephanie, you did something with your clients in your home or on a larger scale. Um, it just has that ripple effect that Julie is talking about. But we're just finding in this technological world that people are actually craving community. And so this is not a novel concept that we've come up with. But, um, you know, across the, the country, teams are finding that going back to smaller events is really key. And I think uh, Lisa Bloom is going to come on in our Facebook group live. She's actually with a brand new coach on her team who's hosting an event. The, the brand new coach is hosting an event at her house tonight. She just wanted to have some people over so she could share about what she's doing. And I know that Lisa has held several um, smaller events as well in her home and in her clubhouse. So it's just kind of cool. And like Bonnie's doing the walking group. There's just different things that we can do to build that community. So we just wanted to share those ideas with you. And like uh, Larry said, we, we like to road trip. So if you want us to come, we've come to Zena's communities um, in Miami and North Carolina. So if you want us to be a part of that, we can certainly, you know, start to look at what that could look like for you wherever you are. There are some caveats there. Lonnie, do me a favor, uh, you know, and, and Val, um, you know, no snow. So uh, anyway, okay, we'll move on. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm excited to uh, introduce everybody, uh, introduce you to Jen Murray. Jen um, and I, she put up with me for many years when we were in the uh, financial world and we reconnected again and I'm so glad we did. So she's been on the program and she just became a coach, what, about a month and a half ago, Jen? And she has, she's bold and she's gotten out there and she, she wants to talk about some of the things she's been doing to get her business started. So Jen, why don't you take it away? Well, first of all, I think um, you guys should come up to Rhode Island. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you. And the summer sounds great. <laughs> There's yes, no Jen handles the entire state of Rhode Island for us, for yeah. uh, our team. So thank you, Jen. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, this is all new for me. Um, and talk about getting out of my comfort zone. So Larry asked if I would talk about how I got out of my comfort zone. And I kind of joked and said, you mean talk about getting out of my comfort zone by getting out of my comfort zone? And just, <laughs> <laughs> I said, all right, I guess I'll do it. Um, so I just started about a month ago um, after having success in my own journey and was trying to intentionally uh, scroll through social media to see how I was going to build my business um, and came across a post for that I've never seen before anybody ever say that a networking group was looking for local women uh, trying to build their business. So I remembered the 
video we watched that said, don't give it more than so many seconds or else you'll talk yourself out of it. So I just quick messaged her and said, hey, I'm interested. Love to see what you guys are about. Um, so I met with them. It was about 12 other local women. Um, had told them, I said, look, I don't even have business cards. I don't have anything. I don't know what I'm doing, but, um, but I'm here. So um, two really good things came out of that. The first was I was able to share my why with them um, and kind of let them know that I had been reluctant to share it publicly. So don't yell at me, Larry, it's still not out there, but <laughs> um, it was tested and, and well received. So that was helpful for me. But um, the biggest thing was they're planning an event, um, a customer appreciation event on their side. So they have about 200 people in the invite list that I wouldn't have been able to get into a room. So I'm sort of piggybacking on them, setting up a table, talk to Larry. Larry gave me some good ideas. So. Um, yeah, so we'll see. I don't have much experience yet, but I'll let you all know how it goes. Awesome. Well, thanks, Jen. And I mean, I think, you know, the key takeaway there is just, you know, getting out there and, and being bold and, and taking a chance. You know, most people, you know, they're, they're in the same boat. I mean, they're trying to grow their businesses. They're trying to get started as well. And we're all trying to do good in our businesses and in the community. So I think that's, uh, it's great that you stepped out and reached out. And uh, again, who knows, right? You, you, you'll be in a room with 200 people and who knows what kind of opportunities are there. So uh, again, uh, great, great deal jumping out there and uh, appreciate that. So awesome. Yeah. Good, good stuff. Well, very good. Well, we're coming up a um, couple minutes left and um, just wanted to touch base. I know Frank and Shauna did a great job. Thank you, you guys, for uh, covering us for us last week when we were out of town. And um, I know they talked about the Dash promotion and just wanted to make sure everybody is up to speed on the Dash promotion, which is an incredible incentive that the company is offering us uh, for new clients that we acquire from, it was from November 11th until December 8th. So like a 28 day window, um, an extra bonus there for every five clients that you add um, <clears throat> that meet the guidelines or a reactivated client of someone who is, um, uh, has an ordered since August 1st, which is not that long ago, um, that orders $345 or more um, for every five, they are going to give you a $250 bonus, $250. And what you might not be aware of is if you are a coach and you are sponsoring coaches um, and helping coaches that are on your team, anybody who is directly a coach under you, if they acquire five clients, um, thank you, Beth, um, you, you also get $250. So for helping them, understand the promotion and put it out there, you both, you know, would, would earn $250. So it's an incredible opportunity. Um, I am going to post some ideas in our Facebook group that you can do to uh, promote this um, in terms of starting to spread the word. We're finding right now, it's kind of crazy. Larry and I, you know, we're growing just like you guys are. We're actively sharing. And um, from feedback that we're getting from other coaches and our own experience, we're finding that there's a lot of people, I don't know if it's the end of the decade, or what it is, but people are ready to move on their health and go ahead and get started. So um, I just want to encourage you to be out there actively promoting it. And Larry, you were talking about Thanksgiving next week. Yeah, well, we've got Thanksgiving next week. So people are going to be traveling. So uh, people are going to be possibly overeating and overindulging. But again, the, the key thing is, you know, again, we'll be in community with family, uh, with friends, neighbors, whoever. And again, making sure um, again, they know who, what you're about. I mean, it's not about, we understand the holidays. You're not going to walk in there and start passing out business cards, right? But, you know, making sure people know what you're doing because they're going to, they're going to ask. They're going to ask, how's things going? What are you up to? What, what's new in your life? And just be prepared to share, you know, again, what you're doing and the impact you're having. I think that's, you know, what it's about. And then people will think about you. Uh, when when they have that need and again as Dee mentioned the end of the decade right everything's 2020 so everything's like vision 2020 matchbox 20 the band is going on tour if you're a matchbox 20 fan I, I have a feeling we'll be seeing matchbox 20 next year 
So, but uh, you know, it's it, there. There's excitement about the new um, the new year coming up, and there's excitement about the holidays. So this dash is perfect. Um, extra money for the holidays. And uh, again, love for all of you guys to take advantage of it and uh, just uh, bring in some more cash and more business for yourselves. Yeah, really keeping that momentum of um, yourself. And now really, I'd say the number one tip um, for growing your business, something we heard at uh, Summit repeatedly, was being on point with your own health. Um, might be a good idea to have a conversation with your health coach about where you are and maybe setting your next goal. We've, we've talked about the fact we don't have a maintenance plan. It's always about optimization and stretching. But one thing that they made really clear at the Summit, which was just so true, is that uh, when your waistline is shrinking, your business is growing. Um, and if it's the opposite, it tends to have the opposite to, uh, effect if you are a little bit off track with your health. So if you are spot on, you're going to feel amazing. Your energy will radiate out and it'll make it so fun to be sharing with other people. So um, I'll post those ideas. i um, got some great things for you guys in our group. And um, encourage you to hop over. We've got Dr. Anderson's call after this. We have field training at 8.30, and then also Dan Bell offers a um, accountability call. He's our integrated uh, presidential director at nine. And one thing, you know, Larry and I always asked, how did we grow a presidential business? And I would say two rocks that we have is the first one is we never miss an event. Anything we qualify for, it's just not a question whether or not we'll go. And the second thing is, is we actively participate in the calls that are offered to us um, so that we can be part of the larger community and, and get the knowledge we have. So we encourage you guys to do the same. Encourage, thank you guys for being on tonight. Um, to Lonnie and Stephanie and Julie and Jen, thank you guys for sharing. And we will see you next Yeah, time. and if by chance, again, just for the newer coaches, if by chance you, you can't attend uh, training. We just want to make sure, you know, they're out there, they're recorded. So get to them on your schedule. I understand we yeah. have different time zones, people all over the place and, and kids trying to get to bed. Um, but anyway, just uh, remember that's out there too. So, but again, make your trainings. They're so be beneficial for everyone. So yeah. that's it. Good point. All right. Thanks you guys. We'll see you over on Dr. A's call. Take care.